Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to try out some new products that Yesnell has kindly sent me in honor of the personal color makeup trend. So if you haven't seen that already, essentially you analyze your undertone and what colors works best with you, not only your makeup, but your clothes and everything. It's just like a full on thing. I want to get my personal color analyzed, but I know that I'm quite neutral, leaning a little bit warm. And because I have brown eyes and black hair, I really like to go in with those browns or sometimes a pop of blue and like green just to spice it up a little bit. But yeah, so this is my attempt of my personal color analysis. And let's see the products we get to try out. I've already prepped and primed my skin as well as put on a little bit of foundation. So I'm just going to go straight into the products that I was kindly sent and we'll do that. First off, we're going to start off with this baked blush from the brand Glint, which I have been loving so far. They are just a brand that focuses on sparkle, shimmer and glimmer. You would have seen me use their highlighter, their lip gloss, all that jazz, and I'm really keen for it. This is the shade Tulip on number four. And what is so great about this shade is that not only does it have a luminosity because it is baked, it's quite a neutral shade, so it's really flattering on a range of people and it's a really muted color as well, so it really works for a lot of different occasions and makeup looks. I haven't even touched it, so let's feel the texture together. It's very, very soft and almost moussey, and you can see there's definitely that shimmer and decent color payoff. It reminds me a little bit like NARS's Orgasm, just a little bit more, I guess, paler and less golden undertone shimmer this is just like a because it's baked that kind of natural shimmer which is really really nice it does low-key remind me of the hourglass formula but definitely not as pigmented very pigmented at least more pigmented than i expected i'm gonna put it towards the center of my face i feel like that gives a more useful flush i'm going back and forth between left and right hand side because i didn't realize how pigmented this would be so we're just going to slowly blend it out so normally i like to put my blush all the way up here that elongates the face and makes it look longer but by putting it towards the center of your face it makes your face look a little bit shortened and childlike very easily blended into skin at first i was really worried about how pigmented it would be but it definitely fades into skin so now i'm gonna go in a little bit heavier just under my eyes put some on the chin as well and just a tad on the forehead to make it pop now i was given two eyeshadow options which i'm really excited about i haven't tried either brands before let's first start off with this one this is from the brand kibo which i have never heard about and this is the shade number one mood brown which you can see from the packaging is this gorgeous warm palette with some neutral shades but let's open this one up and see what it is like this is such a pretty nine pan palette i love the look of it already there are so many different formulas there's mattes mattes shimmers shimmers and metallics satins and glitters so this looks like a really really versatile palette i love the look of this and i just oh, i can already see myself using this a lot let's give it a swatch i'll pop up some swatches on the screen so we can see what it looks like but let's do a real life swatch and just feel the formula and what it is like i got one of the shimmers Matte, matte with shimmer, so let's give that a swatch. Okay, a lot more pigmented and smooth than I expected. And what's really great is you can see it transferred from my fingers all the way onto my arm. So it looks like it will be something that easily transfers off the brush and has great adhesives. So this is really nice. And the shades are so cute. So I swatch these three shades really keen for this one but let's look at the next eyeshadow palette i was given as well this is from the brand flynn and this is the mini nude edition so in here we have a eyeshadow quad and a mini lipstick how cute is this this is so nice for minimalistic makeup i can already tell this is a great quad and you have here i'm pretty sure i'm matte lippy this is the shade 204 french beige very very neutral and here we have nude poet this is the quad and in here you have two mattes one matte with shimmer and one shimmer shade this is leaning more cool tone which gives me kind of like this espresso makeup vibe let's give this one a swatch as well because there's only four shades i'm going to swatch all four of them and we'll give it a look so, Okay, 
hey, here we are. At first I was like, did I swatch something? But I did, and look at that. The shimmer looks so reflective. It's very, very soft. It's almost like ColourPop's Super Shock and then the matte with shimmer and the final coffee brown. Again, really easy to transfer off my fingers. So I feel like it will be really good for adhesive. But um, yeah, let's do a simple look with these two palettes. I'm going to first start off with this neutral shade and set my lids just so we have something to work with and the shadows can blend easily together. There's quite a bit of kickback and fallout in the pan, but I don't think it's a large issue. Um, yeah, but there's something to keep in mind. Now I'm just going to build a gradient and take this salmon matte with shimmer shade and slowly build some depth into my eyelid. I feel like this is a very unpopular opinion, but I enjoy matte with shimmers. A lot of people give hate to it because they're like, oh, like the shimmers aren't too pigmented. It's kind of just like in the middle, out of place. But I think they're great for one and done shadows. Literally, if you think about it, put some on, you're shimmery, you have matte, you have base, it's everything. What I want to do next is I'm going to take this satin coffee brown and I'm going to actually pat it on the center of my lid and give it a smoky effect. That was so creamy. Can we see how easily that just moved onto my lids i love that that is really nice and with the brush we were using earlier i'm actually gonna go in i'm gonna go with like both palettes i'm gonna go in the darkest of the flynn eyeshadow quad and just smooth out the edges of where we deposited that dark shimmer micro blending motions really love that whatever's left over i'm gonna just drag it along the lower lash line this is very dramatic compared to what I usually go for, but I'm going to repeat this on the other side. Okay, now we have a very smoky base going on. I know on my phone camera, it probably doesn't look too intense, but in real life, this is actually quite sultry and dark. I think there's just something about like phone cameras eating up your makeup and making it look less intense. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick one of the glitter shades. I'm very undecided about this one. I don't know if I should go in with the chunky glitter or like the fine glitter. Like they're both so pretty. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fine glitter first, pat a little bit on the center, we're going to see the effects, and then put on some chunky glitter. Can we see that? It's really, really subtle because the bottom shade is a shimmer already, but it is very, very nice. I can see this being like a beautiful pop of glitter and shimmer when you have a very neutral and softer eye look. But I'm actually going to go in with this super chunky now. I'm very keen for this one. Let's just go for it. As expected, it's a little bit like sticky, it feels like almost Vaseline, but look at the glitter. I'm so keen. Let's just put some on. Oh yeah, that's very shimmery. This will be perfect for like festivals and like just going out for a night. Like how cute is this? And I do like one thing as well, is that the glitters are not the same size. They have some bigger and smaller particles mixed together, so it really is just like a galaxy on your eyes it's very pretty okay there's definitely some fallout because it's going all over my under eyes can we see that but it's it's for the look it's for the look definitely put on a little bit too much on this eye you can see it went onto the top part of my lids which i don't really want that so i'm going to teach you guys a trick that i've learned about removing glitter that you put too much on what you want to do is get a little bit of sticky tape and from there use your fingers Make sure it gets into like a holdable position and get the sticky tape and slowly just take out some of the glitter. It will stick onto glitter, but it actually won't remove the eyeshadow, which I found so cool. Like, can we see? That's already gone. How good is that? Life hack. Now we are going to move to the next product they kindly sent me, which is the Giovanni Milchak Sensitive Mascara. You guys know I love this. I've talked about this a lot. And this is one of the finest mascara tips you will ever find. It is just so good for getting into those like small lashes if you have like short and stubby ones like me and it really lengthens because there are these micro fibers in it it's just so good long lasting waterproof life proof it's just everything you could ever ask for one small thing is if you do have already really long and thick voluminized lashes it will take a while for these to comb through every single one because it's so fine so this is for someone who has more like thinner and finer lashes and want to build up to something a bit more like wow how nice does this mascara look Look how my lashes are still wispy and lengthened, but they are voluminized and it just looks so good. Far away, obviously it's not as obvious because of the strong eyeshadow, but you can still see that I have lashes, which I think is important to me. And this will stay all day. It just, 
It's so good. The last product we are going to try out is this Flynn lipstick, which I've never tried anything from them before, but this is what it looks like. A very typical, I guess, slanted applicator. And let's just give this a mini swatch. Oh, very beige, very neutral. This is almost leaning like a brown peach, but let's put this onto our lips and give it a go. Very moussey texture. Mm, has like a floral scent to it. Yeah, it's like not bad, it's not very noticeable, but it's definitely one of those moussey lip tints. It reminds me almost of the Romand um, mousse tints. Like, it won't dry down necessarily and it will transfer. That's the feeling it's giving me but it's very comfortable because it doesn't dry down it doesn't actually sink into your lips so yeah so far look at it it's looking really smooth and even if i crinkle my lips a little bit it's not like settling into the lines and when i smile it's quite smooth which i really like it looks like a very peanut shade right like it's really quite neutral and it goes with every single look and i am digging it i think this is a really cute look all together. I'm going to wash my hands from the swatches and we'll be back with a final review. And that is it for today's final look. I love how it has turned out. I think it even rocks without like an eyeliner. I love eyeliner. Like that's something I put on every single day, but I feel like this works. This totally works. And I really like these products. Thank you to YesStyle again for sending me these um, because I would have never tried some of these. Like for example, Flynn and Kibo. I've never even heard of those brands. And that Glint blush is absolutely stunning. It definitely is a little bit more on the cooler side now that it's like settled down on my skin. But I think it gives a good like plumping effect to my cheeks. Eyeshadow blended, amazing. Really liked it. I think definitely for every day, the Flynn quad is just perfect it's a little bit like cooler it's neutral you can just like slap on a color and call it a day very easy to use the kibo one definitely has more options you have more formulas like the super glitters and everything and this is more like warmer and yeah they're both like really good but i have to say i really just i can't stop talking about this mascara i've used it for like two years now it's just one of the best mascaras Ever. I love it and I think everyone should try it out if you have really really short and stubby lashes This is your go-to. You will love it. The lipstick. It's fine. I don't think it's super special It's not my favorite type of formula I prefer either something that's sort of like juicy and it's like tinting or something like that's super matte and it won't transfer I feel like this is just like a middle ground like, you know, it's fine. It's cute. It's a really nice shade I really enjoy it, but I wouldn't have gone out of my way to purchase it that being said, because it's in a kit, I feel like it's so much more, I guess, user-friendly and it's just so much more convenient. You have an eyeshadow and you have like a lipstick in it. I think that's a really great idea. If it was on sale, definitely I would reach for it and you can use this for quite a bit. Like there's quite a lot in here. How much is in here? There's probably like a good like two grams and I think it's a lot, but yeah. I really enjoy using these products. I love the final results and I can't wait to use these more. So make sure to check out if I actually use them later on in my channel. That's how you know if I actually enjoy it. But for now, really love the look, really love how they're performing. And let me know down below if you're interested in any of these products yourself. And if you know your own personal color, because I'm kind of still confused about that. But that's it for today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. But aside from that, that's it for today and I'll see you guys for the next one.